What's going on, guys? And welcome back to another video, another podcast. It's gonna be a short podcast today, but we got something we really want to talk to you guys. Got a new intro lined up for y'all too. Y'all check this out right here. Yeah, anybody recognize that? That's 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 that sweet music from when uh, oh Eugene took over the tractor out in Oklahoma a couple weeks ago. Eugene has inspired the podcast. He has inspired so many things along the way. Eugene is not my greatest mistake on the YouTube channel to date, but that is exactly what we're going to be talking about. I wanted to talk to you guys about mistakes that we make in our content creation journey and what I feel like my biggest mistake that I've ever made with this channel is, and we're going to kind of dive right into that because I'm going to tell you guys right now, we get asked questions on a daily basis constantly about you know starting a YouTube channel, what it takes, what's involved, what what should I do, what should I not do. So we're gonna we're gonna kind of do this little series, and I am by no means an expert at this. So basically, what I'm going to be talking to you guys about is my personal experiences, things that I feel like I could have done better, um, things that of knowledge that I've gained from other content creators that I'm going to try to pass along to you guys. And I will tell you guys right now, one of the biggest mistakes I made with this platform, and I think what has hindered our growth more than anything else out there was how I handled my channel when I got serious about YouTube. Now there's two different two different cycles in a YouTube like journey or a content creation journey. It's when you're you're going to start doing content creation and you're dabbling in it and then there's that moment when you're going to really really become a content creator and you're going to kind of give it your all and you're really going to dive into it. Well, that moment happened for Sarah and I somewhere around probably early 2020, I want to say, we really got serious about creating content. Now, I had already created a YouTube channel about six years ago, just to comment on. I had posted three or four videos here or there, had like 24 subscribers or something on it. Well, at the time when we decided to get serious about our content creation journey, I'm like, hey, we got this channel sitting here with 24 subscribers. Let's roll with that. And that's exactly what we did. So we start building this channel up um, that had 24 subscribers that was four and a half years old that had literally no videos on it, like maybe four videos in like the last four years. So this thing is in like literally in YouTube's cellar. I'm talking like as far down as it can go with boxes of wine topped on top of it. it it's, it's down there y'all like for real. So that's the channel that I decided all because I had 24 subscribers. Now, if you guys are OGs to the channel, you guys are going to know that Sarah and I went through somewhat of an identity crisis back when we first started doing content creation. We were like Crossroads Media, and then we didn't like the media thing. That would seem like it was really overplayed. So we started doing the Crossroads Adventure thing. We really liked that for a while. And then I started working with Brant Peacher from Angler Up with Brant, and he started calling me Cameraman Ron. Now, right around that time, we had built our channel up to around 900, 930 subscribers, something like that, and we were on the verge of becoming YouTube partners. Now, if you don't understand what that means, that means – you are about to be able to be eligible to be to monetize your videos. You have to have 4,000 watch hours and over the course of the last 12 months, and you have to have 1,000 subscribers. We were right there. Sarah and I were taking a trip out to Jacksonville, Florida, and I decided with Sarah's approval, and actually with Sarah's push, Sarah, Sarah pushed me for a long time to do this, to change the channel name to Cameraman Ron. Now, mind you, this is still a channel that was – in YouTube's seller. We were not getting a lot of views. When we uploaded a video, we were lucky if we would get 100, 200 vid, you know, views and uploads. So it just, it wasn't, it wasn't anything spectacular. Now, when we started working with Brant regularly, it definitely gave that channel a bump, but I feel like YouTube had already decided that that was kind of a lame duck channel and they weren't going to push it. Now, this is still the channel that you guys are watching this on today, the Cameraman Ron channel. We're still operating off this. So we have been able to be somewhat successful, but the biggest mistake I made with my channel was not starting a new channel when we changed over to Cameraman Ron. Now, I know that sounds absolutely crazy, and I'm going to tell you guys right now, if somebody had told me at the time that that's what I needed to do, they, they would have been very, very hard to have talked me into it because we were, we were either just getting ready to be monetized or we were monetized, and we had, it had been such a grind to get to that point. So... If someone had tried to convince me at the time that that was the right thing for us to do, it would it probably would have been a hard no for me. But looking back and knowing what I know now, I feel like if we just started the Cameraman Ron channel, brand new, fresh channel, straight out of the gate, getting the promotion that we were getting from Angler Up with Brand and Bama Beach Bum at the time and some other content creators we were working with, that channel would have shot straight to the moon really, really quickly. Because 
what ends up happening, I think, with these channels is they they kind of have a life cycle a little bit, almost like a television show. And YouTube decides kind of how many views you're going to get on a on a weekly upload. And and I, I feel like we're kind of stuck in that that rut right now. Now we're still doing all kinds of stuff to grow the channel. Um, we're not changing anything. You know, it's still going to be cameraman Ron. We're not doing anything with the with the actual channel now. But I'm just passing that advice along to you guys. If you have created a channel that you've kind of played around with over the last three or four years, and maybe you've uploaded 20, 25 videos, and you've got, you know, 200, 300 subscribers, but now you're serious. You're going to upload twice a week, three times a week, whatever it is you're going to do. You would be better suited to start a brand new channel. Make sure you take all the knowledge that you gained from your old channel that you kind of dallied with, right? You didn't get anything serious into it. You were just dabbling at the time, but now you're serious. Start a new channel, create a searchable name, make sure you're uploading on a consistent basis, be persistent with your uploads, be consistent with your thumbnails, take all that knowledge that you kind of dabbled around with at the beginning, put that into a new channel and that new channel will grow leaps and bounds. A prime example right now is Sarah's channel. So Sarah started a new channel, all her own coastal country. I know you guys have heard me talk about it. I've got it linked down in the description box below. That channel is doing very, very well. She's had that channel for about two weeks now, and she's already like surpassed what our channel did in the first, you know, six years, basically. I mean, to be honest with you. And it's simply because we were taking the knowledge that we have gained through the Cameraman Ron channel and we're applying that to her brand new channel. And that channel is getting pushed by YouTube because it's a new channel. It's gaining a lot of subscribers really fast. It's getting views really fast. When that happens, it's going to bump your channel up in the algorithm. And, and it's always about hitting that algorithm and, ha- and how you hit the algorithm and if, whether YouTube pushes your videos or whether they don't, they don't push your videos. It all comes down to that. So that is hands down my biggest mistake I've ever made with my YouTube channel. And I know that that might sound crazy and some people might be like, well, that's just, that's absurd to even think about that. And it, it does sound crazy because you spend so much work getting those first two or 300 subscribers or whatever you're doing. And then just the thought of starting over, it's, it's mind boggling. You're like, I don't know if I can do this. Like, I don't know if I can, if I can do all the things, but imagine any job you've ever had, but not matter whether you're a banker or a a Walmart cashier or a factory worker or, you know, an executive, whatever you're doing. If I go and I'm a cashier at Walmart for the first year, three months, whatever, it's going to be tough, man, because, you know, you've never worked a cash register before. You don't know how to look stuff up. You don't know how to read UPCs, whatever that job entails. You don't know how to do it. So the first three, six months of it, it's going to be incredibly difficult. Now, imagine you took that and you went to work at another retail store and you, yeah, the system's different but all the mechanics are exactly the same. So you're going to be leaps and bounds ahead of where you were starting at the other place. Now, what that's going to do for you is it's going to make you look more competent in the eyes of management, or in this case, your audience or the algorithm. Therefore, that algorithm should push your channel a little bit more. So that's, you know, that's my uh, piece of knowledge for the day. I really, really feel like had we done that, we would be in a different place right now. Not that we're in a bad place. We absolutely love where we're at with our content creation, but I just feel like that would have been one of the tweaks I could have made that would have really like helped us grow a little bit faster than what we are. Um, you know, not that that's the end all be all. I tell people all the time, if you're, if you're slow growing, it's not the greatest feeling in the world because it does kind of slow down and it gets, it gets very, very discouraging at times. But when you do have slower growth, it does build a very, very loyal audience. However, it also can like, like I said, it can be a little bit discouraging. So no matter how you choose to do it, just make sure that you're pushing through. But I definitely advise you guys 110%, if you're going to get serious about content creation and you've not like been serious about it in the past and you've had that channel for a while, don't be scared to go ahead and just start a brand new channel. It'll put you leaps and bounds above everybody else and you'll have a good time with it. Guys, that's all I got for you today. I truly hope you enjoyed this one. Just a quick little hit on this fine Saturday morning. We can't wait to see y'all on the next one. Y'all take care. We'll see you soon.